Putting Youth First. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre's new youth economy has signaled to the island's youth their needs will continue to influence policy to help create a more conducive economic environment that promotes entrepreneurship and facilitates business development and growth. The Taiwanese government has bought in and on October 17th, Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chen formally handed over more than $136,000 which will be used to operationalize the Pei administration's youth economy program. Youth economy is the future of a country's development and it is only right that we invest in our future. Today's ceremony demonstrates Taiwan's commitment to continue investing in youth in St. Lucia, in line with Prime Minister's youth economy policy. And Taiwan remains dedicated to working with Honorable Prime Minister Pierre and the government of St. Lucia to tackle the post-pandemic economy and promote a better future for all. The requisite legislation establishing Honorable Pierre's youth economy was passed in the lower house of parliament on July 26. More than $10 million has been allocated to the youth economy program. You can't tell a young person who wants $5,000. You can ask them who was the mother, who was the father, what experience they have. Well, no, no, no. They have an idea. The idea is workable. We've looked at it, and we, we're going to help them, assist them. The money that we're going to give as loans will not be disbursed from the agency itself. We will have to go into an arrangement with a financial institution where the, 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 loan, the loan portion of the funding will go to that financial institution and the young person will be responsible to the financial institution. But the financial institution will have to be flexible. And that's why you're calling on the St. Lucia Development Bank to put its house in order so they can receive these applications and deliver it in a flexible manner. Minister for Youth Development and Sports and Member of Parliament for Grosely, Honorable Kenson Casimir, is the youngest minister in Honorable Pierre's cabinet. Honorable Casimir believes the youth economy has the potential to transform the lives of the island's young and aspiring entrepreneurs. With the youth economy, I'm very excited of the prospect, about the prospects that it will bring for a number of St. Lucians. And as a Minister of Sports, I continue to work very closely with the Ministry in terms of our skills database, how we can use our skills database to provide the advice for young persons who want a small loan to further themselves. And so I'm super excited and I want to say thank you uh, to the Taiwanese government for making that contribution into our young people. And these are the investments that are going to be life-changing for people that before could not see a way beyond just the talent and skill, but they're going to use it to make themselves, the family, the community, and St. Lucia better. The Youth Economy Act makes provisions for the establishment of a youth economy agency headed up by a board of directors. An evaluations committee comprising a chief executive officer who is appointed by the minister, along with two other members of the board, will be tasked with vetting business proposals submitted by prospective entrepreneurs and businesses owned and operated by youth. Approved business plans would then qualify for loan or grant funding to jumpstart or expand their business ventures. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.